work experience at Kames was near Oban in Scotland. Kames is a farm with salt and freshwater installations, specialised in steelhead trout and has been operating for over 30 years. While I was working at Kames, the majority of my time was working on the sea cages. Then I moved on to the freshwater cages and uh, locks where we in this area we this is where we kept mechanical uh, tools and also where we kept our life jackets, coats and gloves and all so we can keep they can dry overnight. This is me pulling up one of the ropes. Uh, for one of the dead baskets where the fish is collected at the bottom of the of the cages so we bring this up so we can collect the dead fish from the bottom and then pull it back down again there's the net before doing treatments at the sea sites we bring up these leads so we can bring up the uh, the net the uh, leads normally have uh, quite a lot of sea life on the leads, as uh, as seen on these next couple of slides. There's uh, starfish, clams, uh, scallops, all sorts of little marine uh, wildlife there. Uh, we also there was also a few times where I saw. Uh, these uh, red bristle starfish and also common starfish which there is that white one there whilst bringing up the net we brought up six loops and this is when the net is all the way up and we're bringing up a tarp underneath the net so we do the treatment the chains there are being put into the net so we can weigh it down whilst doing the treatment. This uh, is where we use the engines of the boat to push water into the tarp so we can fill it up. And this is the start of the treatment. Mortality rates are about 20% and much of my work experience was managing the issue. In this video, we were removing the perished fish, which would, uh, which were disposed of by, uh, by a meat grinding machine with acid added to decompose the remains. Some of my time was doing water samples. Hello? Um, pardon? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, just that plankton troll I sent you. Um, I think it's the worst I've seen it. While I was doing the water samples, we did these uh, once a week, and we were looking for these jellyfish and microorganisms. The jellyfish were entering the gills and uh, causing uh, death and also the microorganisms which are little brown things with barbs on them they were also causing the fish to die as well uh, so we looked at the water temperature as soon as it the temperature went colder uh, they, there was less of them we could uh, stop off uh, starvation feed for the fish for the last three weeks and feed them once again. The treatment which was carried out is to eradicate the sea lice which is uh, attached onto the trout which is also preventing and slowly killing the fish which we don't like so we are using this uh, treatment to uh, try and get rid of these parasites 
but knowing we will have to do it again in a month. These mackerels sometimes enter the cages, but normally shoal around the cages, eating the food off the cages like mussels. This was the time I started at the freshwater site. I was putting ice into these boxes for the harvesting of other sites, which were removing the fish for uh, smoking and for them to be sold on. This is me and Henry uh, removing leaves from the, uh, from the wall, from the grids for the hatchery. This is me also feeding in the hatchery, giving uh, the, uh, the, the small fry feed for the fish. This normally uh, will go for one day, and then we'll have to fill it up the next day. Whilst working in the hatchery, we uh, looked at some of the fish. So, as you can see, very, very slight bit of fin nipping that's healed up. But nice and proportionate, nice healthy fins and nice healthy gill covers on that one as well, the perculums. So, yeah, good looking fish. All right. Just make out the square packs in there. So in these square packs is a tiny little bit of uh, milk. We get a company in from uh, Norway to come and do the fire preservation for us. So those fish we were looking at, we were weighing them and seeing how much they were as an average. And this is the tanks that we had, I cleaned them, this before and after images, just for the At the freshwater site, we were vaccinating 25,000 fish. My job was to net out the fish and put them in the bucket of tricane. This was to stay in there for about 30 minutes, 90 seconds, and then I would put them onto the vaccinating table where the uh, the others would vaccinate them with the oil based vaccine and then they be slid back into the tank. So this is one day's of water in this boat which we had to remove so we could put the feed in so we could go and feed the other fish in this lock. This is the lovely site I had every morning whilst working at Canes. This was also the house I stayed in. Uh, which is a farm